Seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds. Sam rises for three. Yeah! Put on your best dress, baby. We're going to the dance. Stanley on the reverse with three point eight. And the celebration will begin. Oh, baby! Come on. Hofstra, Boston University. NKU's going dancing. The Winthrop Eagles. The Liberty Flame. Yes, sir! How special is this moment? This is what college basketball is all about. Our hopes heading into March were high. We knew we were going to be a number one seed, so we felt good about that. We were rolling 16 straight to end the season, number one in the nation. We were number three in the country, and I felt like we was going to make a deep run and win the national championship game. Here it comes. COVID-19 really came over and like kind of gave us a, a big slap in the face. You know, I'd heard of the term coronavirus you know, almost as a joke like a fantasy, you know, and I didn't really know much about it, and I, I didn't know how much it was affecting uh, the world. Another round of crucial decisions being made in the sports world. The Ivy League canceled its men's and women's basketball tournaments because of concerns about the spread of coronavirus. Everybody was kind of, not in a panic, but we were kind of wondering, you know, how bad is really this, this virus, and, you know, how many, you know, people, how close can it be to us? The NCAA has made an unprecedented move, announcing that the men's and women's NCAA basketball tournaments will be played without fans in attendance. We just came off a great game against Washington. Uh, you know, our team was pumped, you know, we were ready to go for the next day. We lost to Oklahoma State in the Big 12 tournament. When I checked my phone after the game, uh, that was when the Jazz and Thunder canceled their game. Just before tip-off, test results returned positive for Rudy Gobert and the coronavirus. Some games played, others postponed. A season shut down all in the space of about two hours. This is a virus. This is a possibility of people getting very sick and dying. I just hope the kids get to play the games. That's all. You know, they've worked hard to get here. 24 hours ago, it was kind of a nuisance, annoyance, you know, a little something going on. All of a sudden, NBA suspends the season. I'd shake your hand, but I'll give you that. You got professional basketball players who said they're not going to play, and we've got amateurs that haven't had a voice. Don't think they're not scared. Don't think right now they're not counting on adults to make the right decision for them. Just moments ago, the SEC, the Big Ten, and the AAC have all announced that their conference tournaments have been canceled. About five minutes after the teams took the floor for warm-ups, they were asked to leave the floor, and it was announced that the Big 12 tournament would be canceled. The ACC announcing just minutes ago they, too, have canceled their conference tournament. We're going to err on the side of being cautious and doing what we think is in the best interest of everybody. Wait, hold on. St. John's and Creighton tipped? It baffles me that the Big East is still playing basketball. Could these be the last seconds of the game or of the season? We have no idea. We went in the locker room. Coach had told us that we were the last game playing in the country and just told us, like, we're not going to play no more and explain to us that our health and the safety is more important than a game of basketball right now. Canceled it at halftime and came to us right away and said, you got to get out of New York. There was an eeriness about the way they said, like, you got to get out of New York. How can we justify putting our players out there and having something happen to them? The next step in this is what's going to happen with the NCAA tournament. I had um, SportsCenter going on my phone, and Coach Few is actually on the show. We've got to postpone, but not cancel. Mark, I want to, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I've just told in my ear that Mark Emmert has just announced that the men's and women's tournaments, well, along with all winter sports, have been canceled. Uh, I may be the one that's giving you that news right now, and if so, what's your reaction to that? Uh, extremely, extremely disappointed. I don't know, a thousand pounds of concrete poured on your shoulders, you know, just crushing. We really felt like we could have ran the table, you know, and just to like not even get a chance to play and it was it was truly sad me. We got a call down to the meeting room and literally coach coach had tears in his eyes right away. I mean I don't even think I was able to process it and I'm still trying to process the fact that I've played my last game and not able to play for a national championship. For teams that knew that they were going to be in, programs that hadn't been to the tournament for years and were having unbelievable years, I really feel bad for those kids. Last year, 
They won the conference tournament, but didn't get to dance. This year, the Winthrop Eagles are headed to the NCAA tournament. Lo and behold, here we are 12 months later, and we were able to punch our ticket again, and doing it the hard way is even more gratifying uh, this time around. I think it just fueled me with motivation uh, for this season and, and to make sure that when, when I got to March again, uh, that I was going to make it count. It was cut short and it was abrupt last year. It was a shock to the system for sure. I'm really happy that we get a chance to play against the best teams in the country again and that all of our work this year is going to lead up to a tournament. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.